Good afternoon, welcome to getting it done north of seven. What do you do when you're riding more or your push more runs out of gas or won't move? I'm gonna share a really good tip with you that a lot of people don't know on how to move your riding mower if it stalls, breaks down, runs out of gas. And a great tip why you should not leave your riding mower or your push mower too close to the road. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Okay, I'm gonna share a real funny story with you, but it's a story that we can all learn from. So here's a story that happened about six years ago. A person that lived close to me, I, would, I, would, I didn't know them, they were a neighbor, they lived down the road and around the corner. They ran out of gas, they had a push mower and they ran out of gas and they were close to the curb like this, right, right by the road. So they left their mower right there, right at the curb. And he jumped in his truck and took off, went to get some gas for his lawnmower. And when he came back home, his lawnmower wasn't there. So he figured maybe his wife or his son put it in the backyard. Well, that wasn't the case. Guess what happened? So you know how it goes in today's culture, you leave something near the end of your road. People think it's either you're giving it away free or it's for sale or just scrap metal pickup, that sort of thing. Well, I guess somebody happened to drive by while he was gone to get gas and they picked up his lawnmower. They thought it was a free lawnmower that somebody had just discarded at the curb side. So the person picks it up, throws it in the back of his truck and he drives off. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's unfortunate, but it is pretty funny. So the funny thing is that day, the guy made up a sign and he put it, stuck it in the ground at his curbside and the sign read, please bring back my lawnmower. I just ran out of gas and while I was, went out for gas, it was missing. It disappeared. <laughs> so the moral of the story is don't leave anything at the curbside, especially your riding lawnmower and your push mower. If they break down and run out of gas, push it out of the way, get it up on your lawn somewhere or up beside your house. Don't leave it there because there's a good chance it may disappear. And if it's a riding lawnmower, these are hard to push. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna show you a way, you may not know this, I'm gonna show you how to push your riding lawnmower out of the way and make it easy. So if you come to the rear of your riding lawnmower, you'll see this here. And what this does, it disengages the gearing for your axles and your wheels. So if you pull that out like this, you can freely roll this riding lawnmower easy. So after you push your lawnmower, you have to push this back in so that you can drive it because you'll get on this, start it up, and you'll, you'll hit the gas pedal and it won't move. So make sure you push that back in. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you how easy it is to push this riding lawnmower after I disengage the gears. As you can see, that was much easier. So I was just telling my son what this video was about and we had a laugh and he informed me that another neighbor two doors north of us, same thing happened to him. And Walter, if you're watching this video, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> so again, if you leave your equipment at the curbside like that, at least have someone sitting there with a hockey stick so they can take care of business while you're doing whatever you have to do, gone to get gas or whatever. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.